everybody welcome to my youtube i'm jen um today i have something different for us um i have a box from let's make art um let's make art has been in the past a monthly subscription for watercolor um they also do their tutorials online for free so that anybody can watch and learn from them um it's an amazing company that um they always send if you are if you're a subscriber they always send postcards um with the stamped a stamp on the back that you can actually send art to um people that might need a little extra pick me up um so people that are sick or had tragedies in their life or just need a little bit extra so anyways um i've been a subscriber of theirs for quite a while now off and on um depending on when I want the kit and when I don't. Um, I definitely watch all their videos. They also started a lettering um, project last year. So Let's Make Art Lettering, they did it in quarterly um, to where you would get this full kit um, and then they would release videos every week, just like Let's Make Art Watercolor. The lettering program or lettering part of the company has switched they um, are still doing weekly videos, but they're going to do the packages monthly along with the other ones. So that's also monthly now. Um, they're $35 if you're a subscriber, $45 if you're not. So super great company. I've done both of those in the past. This one is different. This one is um, Let's Make Art Journaling. So it is another person that they added to um, their company that... Um, Jessie Peterson, I believe that's her name, that um, will do the tutorials for um, art journaling. So as you know, if you're watching this, I am an art journaler. I love mixed media. I got into it actually um, when I was laid off from a job and uh, I need a little pick me up and I love doing art, but I'm actually really critical on myself um, with painting and drawing, things like that, that I learned mixed media, I learned art journaling. So it was huge for me and for um, my emotional aspect. The journaling project is going to be monthly. They're going to do, or every month, and then they're going to do weekly projects. I don't know if this is something you guys want to see. Um, it definitely was near and dear to my heart. So I went ahead and ordered the first kit and then we'll see um, what happens see if we wanted to keep going if you guys want to see it versus if I get it um, doesn't doesn't really matter um, if you don't want to see it um, I may still keep doing it but for the most part um, art journaling is fantastic because you get your emotions out you get your feelings out and then nothing ever happens has to happen. You don't have to share it. You don't have to give it to anybody. Um, it stays in your book, on your shelf, in your studio, whatever you want. Um, anyways, so I, um, got this box. I need your honest opinions. If this is something you want to continue seeing every month, um, maybe just occasionally I will do projects along with them, but I will also do other projects. So the ones I do along with them, um, I, I mean, they do it for free online, so I can definitely link their, um, website so that you can see it you can see me doing it if you want let me know if that's what you want or I can do just a monthly one where when I open the next box I show you what I did the month before anyways let me know please in the description or in the comments below um, let me know what you think um, of this box and what you want to see going forward if you want to see it going forward anyways so let's see <laughs> that was long sorry about that let's see what's in the box um I'm definitely excited to uh, dive in. I have seen the contents on their website. Um, that's the other thing with these is they're not really mystery boxes. Um, there's always spoilers online with their little ads. So there's that too. So just the first thing, um, the very top says, spoiler alert, you're good at this. Um, so it's very inspirational, um, very nice. So first thing I see is a little card. Um, not sure. It says this month's theme for art journaling is spark a start. A fiery warm colors, the fiery warm colors and art recipe cards are here to cheer you on as you face the blank pages. 
If your mind tries to trick you into thinking that you have to be perfect before you begin, just start by making a mess. And that is so true with art journaling and mixed media. Sometimes we forget that practice is making art. Practicing is making art. Sorry, I can't read today. <laughs> Taking the first step will lead to knowing what to do next. So just start and watch that little spark of starting ignite all kinds of new ideas. So, and then there's uh, fresh ingredients. So these are the items that are included in the box. And um, Jessie, so her name is Jessie, recommends oval mop brush, a flat wash, um, one half inch brush. And then it has the link to the free tutorials. And those are released weekly, um, or will be released weekly starting in February. So this is the February box. So very cool card. Um, these cards actually may be great for going inside your journal too, just so that you can document your journey. So there is a little letter. Um, hey there, this is your friendly reminder to set aside your to-do list to play, dabble, and paint. Art journaling can be whatever you want. The pages can be fast or slow, paintings or drawings, snippets of light, life, pasted on a page, or pretty painted song lyrics you capture in your current mood. Each month your box will include a fabulous journal. So that's good. You get a new journal every month, which means this journal will be, I can just fill it up 30 days, whatever I want, just fill it up for the month of February. A theme and curated supplies along with art recipe cards to spark your creativity. There are two types of art recipe ca cards. Um, you're at, there are prompt cards for journaling as well as technique cards for expanding your art making skills. You can use one of each to make your page in your journal or use them separately. It's all up to you. Follow along. You can view tutorials that correspond with your subscription box. To view new art journal projects tutorials, tune in to Let's Make Art YouTube channel. Um, it doesn't say that it's weekly, um, so I'll have to check on that. But the other two boxes, Let's Make Art Watercolor and Let's Make Art Lettering, um, have been weekly. So I think a Wednesday for the watercolor and Friday for the lettering. Um, so it says we love seeing what you make. Caring is sharing. We love seeing what you make. Um, you amazing art genius. <laughs> Tag us whether you hang out, join our community of art journalists who are looking for connection and inspiration and tag us or use hashtag let's make art journaling. Um, and then it has a little description about let's make art matter. So we've included a let's make art matter postcard for you to send out some good vibes in the form of art. Paint something on your own or join us for the mini tutorial at the end of the month and we'll make something awesome together. Each postcard is addressed and stamped, so all you have to do is drop it in the mailbox. No matter where you are in your creativity journal journey, we, we hope to practice. We hope the practice of art journaling can help you to grow in new ways and help cultivate creative creative habits. There's a reason I don't read <laughs> online. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm so excited you're here. Congrats on taking the first step to carve out time to be creative. Now rip open these supplies and let's play. Um, and then it is Jesse Peterson. So that's the new um, teacher. And let's see what's inside. Okay, first up is the mixed media art journal. And she said she did mixed media so that you weren't tied to anything specific. This paper actually seemed, she said she tested out a couple. She being Jessie, she did some live videos on Let's Make Art and as well as some stuff on um, the YouTube. So uh, feel free to check those out. But And she also did some basics, like different information about supplies. But um, she just said that the mixed media papers seem to hold up the best to watercolor and acrylics and everything else that she's suggesting. Um, this is really thick. It almost feels like thick, um, not poster board. Um, anyways, it's just really, really thick paper. So that's very cool. Um, it is Carpe Diem. It seems like the lettering journal I got was Carpe Diem too. So it seems like they stick with that. Um, and then it is not bound by glue, um, which is really important when you're, and I've learned this the hard way, when you're art journaling, if you use a lot of wet mediums, 
if it's bound by glue, the glue will loosen up um, and come out if you use a lot of wet stuff. Um, in this case, it is not, which is awesome. And uh, this journal just seems perfect. So I'm excited. I don't know how many pages are here. There's not a lot, so it definitely won't be 30 days. Um, but super cool. Let me see what it says. Uh, 10 pages, so not too much, but it'll be nice for a one month journal. Even with my new lettering skills, I'll put the month on the, the front. Um, and then there's two little goodie bags. This one looks like it's paint. And looks like they picked Deco Art um, acrylic this month. So this one's red hot. Um, this one is school bus. Okay. And they're all satin, multi surface, pink Cadillac, and pumpkin patch. So that is a uh, pretty good variety of colors. Pretty interesting color choice so we'll see what kind of projects they are planning with those and then we've got another pouch and you can paint on these decorate these um, this one has a couple pins we've got a red Posca pin and a white Posca pin I love 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 white and black Posca pins so and gel pins we've got a teeny tiny jar of yes paste um, I'm not 100% sure about this Yes Paste because I've used it in the past and it didn't seem to be, what's the word, um, water, water soluble? I don't know. It, it, or it is water soluble, I think is the problem. It seemed like once you pasted something down, if you're using wet medium on top, um, it would come up. But I could totally be wrong, so I'm definitely going to try it out. Um, if that happens to be the case, I will switch to my gel medium, as you guys probably know. Um, but this is the cutest little jar, um, and I will absolutely try it. So there's that. And then it looks like there's a whole bunch of little cards in here. So this is the Make Art Matter. Um, and then it tells you every month we come together as a community to create small acts of kindness through art. This month we are sending encouragement to Esme. Um, and this is Esme. Esme is a beautiful girl with an anxiety disorder. It causes her to doubt her ability to be successful in life and friendship. Even compliments make her doubtful that anyone would praise her. Esme's family believes receiving a postcard from you will give her strength and courage to believe in herself. Join us at the end of February to create the postcard for Esme. We'll release a video tutorial in the Let's Make Art YouTube channel. I love their Let's Make Art Matter. Um, so there's the postcard, it's got the address, and then they always include a piece of carbon paper so that you can trace um, any of their designs, anything that you need to, like this, if I want to trace that, I can. Okay. Next up, sorry if I'm talking too fast. I can try to slow down. Um, next up is their technique card. I saw a little bit of this on their little preview um, on YouTube, but so this one says spark a start. Um, and then it says basically there's stuff you need. And then this just says um, enhance the drawing with collage paper. This one tells you to trace it. Um, choose shapes in her clothing to trace into the collage paper. So it must be collage paper. And then, um, so you're going to trace the whole thing. You're going to collage her outfit together and then you're going to paint. So very cool. I will definitely do that one. Um, this one looks fun. Uh, this one says ingredients. So step one, print out a photo, cut an image from the background and set aside. So self portrait, maybe if you're comfortable with that, definitely do a self portrait. Uh, if you're not, then just do something from a magazine, do your favorite person or your least favorite person, whatever you want. So that's cool. I love that she picked one. She's eating ice cream. So there's that one. Next one says, um, wonky word. Oh, so this technique was embellish photo with dots. Um, so you take the photo, you do the background, then they, they use lots of dots. So there's that one. Then this one says wonky words. 
So you paint a strip and you cut it out. Um, paint a strip, write the word in the painted strip, then cut the letters out. And wonky is fun. So that's the painted part. And then she just did the background. And these will, they will all be on video. So there's three videos this month. And then here's the prompts. I really like the idea of the prompt cards and even the technique cards because there's sometimes that I really just, I just want to journal and I may not know what to do. I may just sit here in my studio and not journal because I can't think of what to do. Um, I usually just take out a supply and start, but um, this will help because then it'll give me a, a starting point. Um, so this one says, get personal, let's explore a bio page. This one says one word, um, is, so you basically use one word to um, inspire you. And this one says find your guide, so I'm not sure. Oh, who are people you admire most? Try writing a list. Think about what it is about them that makes them inspiring. Maybe it's another artist, a writer, someone in pop culture or history. So definitely... Um, I will share what I make. Let me know how much of this you want to see. Um, let's see what's in this little bag and then uh, um, we'll be done. So it looks like there's definitely some collage paper in here. So there is this one for you to trace. Um, and then here is the collage paper. It looks like just two pieces, um, but definitely don't be limited by what they send. You can use anything. Um, you can use magazines, newspapers, photos, um, things around your house. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how much of this you want to see or if you even are interested at all. Um, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Time to create.